I'm Briley. I'm a contributor at Juicebox DAO, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reconfigure your project. Once you've created a Juicebox project, whether you're a content creator, a DAO, a nonprofit, or any other type of project, you might want to change how your project is configured. Maybe you need to add or remove payouts, adjust your tokenomics, or add NFTs. All of these things and more can be done by reconfiguring your project. Before you start, you need to have a Juicebox project for which you are the owner. So if you haven't already, head over to juicebox.money and connect your wallet. You can hover over your wallet address and click My Projects to find your project. So for this tutorial, I made a quick project on Gorly called the Bone Zone, which is a community and educational resource for dog lovers. We have tiered NFTs that have utilities, such as dog safe treat recipes, breed specific playtime activities for dogs, and a few limited one on one virtual dog coaching sessions. So, on your project page, scroll down to Funding Cycle, and you'll see a button that says Reconfigure Upcoming. Click that, and you'll be brought to the Reconfigure Funding Cycle page that lets you review and change many of your project settings. Keep in mind that any changes you make won't take place until the next funding cycle. So, depending on how long your funding cycle is, ours is set to 14 days, this change may not take effect for a number of days. Another thing to keep in mind is the reconfiguration rules that you have set, specifically the delay period, which by default is three days. A three-day delay means that reconfiguring an upcoming funding cycle must be done at least three days before it starts. At the top of the reconfigure funding cycle page, you'll see a countdown that shows exactly how much time is left to submit your changes for the next funding cycle. So for this project, we have about six days and 21 hours left to submit. So for this example, I'm going to add a payout for my project. I'll click funding, which will show my current funding cycle duration and payouts. Right now we have a 14 day funding cycle and a distribution limit of 5,000 USD. So that's the max that can be withdrawn from the project's treasury per 14 day funding cycle. At the moment, any funds distributed will go to the project owner, which is me. So I'll click Add Payout Recipient, and I'll add my partner Matthew. Let's say that he is joining the team as a developer for this project, and I want to add a payout so that he can get paid trustlessly and transparently from the Juicebox's project treasury. I'll add a payout of 2500 USD, and the address to Matthew Brooks, Dot ETH, and this will be added to our distribution limit for a total of 7,500 USD. If we don't reach that target, no worries. He will receive 33% of the all funds withdrawn, and the project owner, which is me, will receive the other 66%. Another way to do this is with percentages. If we choose this option, Matthew will receive 33% of all funds distributed. And the project owner, again me, will receive the other 66%. The difference between this and amounts is that our distribution limit is now infinite, so we can distribute as much as we want from the project treasury. This is a flexible strategy, but can be seen as a risk to supporters of the project. Now, if I switch back to amounts, I'll be prompted to set a new distribution limit. So I'll set this limit to let's say 6,000 USD. I'll click OK. This will be the max that can be withdrawn per 14-day funding cycle. So if we withdraw the maximum of 6,000 USD, 2,000 will go to Matthew and 4,000 to me as the project owner, minus the 2.5% Juicebox membership fee. Once I'm done, I'll click Save Funding Configuration at the bottom. The next section is Token. Here we can change the mint rate, which is the number of tokens minted per ETH contributed. We can also set our reserved rate, which is the percentage of tokens set aside for addresses on the reserve list. The discount rate, which decreases token issuance by a certain percentage each funding cycle. And the redemption rate, which determines how much overflow each token can be redeemed for. 
Stay tuned for our upcoming deep dive tutorial on how to set up your project's tokenomics. In the next section, you'll be able to adjust the rules for your project. For example, maybe you need to pause payments or enable redeemable NFTs. So contributors can burn their NFTs for a portion of the project's overflow. If you scroll down, you can also change the delay for your project. This is a three-day delay by default, but it can be set to longer or shorter. Projects set to no delay present risks for supporters. For example, a reconfiguration could be submitted at 11.59 p.m. before the next funding cycle starts at midnight. The delay period just helps mitigate this risk. Last but not least, you can configure your project's NFTs. So you can edit existing NFTs by clicking on them. You can also remove them by clicking on the trash can icon, or you can add new NFTs. If you've made changes to this section, you will need to click Deploy NFTs and confirm the transaction in your browser wallet. If you need, you can also edit the collection name and description and then save collection details when finished and confirm the transaction in your browser wallet. Before submitting our reconfiguration, we can add an on-chain memo to let supporters know why changes were made or just leave a note. So I'll add a memo that says, welcoming Matthew to the team. And I'll also add a Banny sticker with hearts on it. Once you're done, we can also specify a start time in a Unix timestamp, but we'll leave this blank so our reconfiguration will take effect as soon as possible. And when you're done, you'll see a summary of your project settings below. So now our distribution limit is 6,000 USD, and we can see the two payouts, one to Matthew and one to me. And please note that these USD amounts do take into account the JBX membership fee. Once you've reviewed everything, you can click Deploy Funding Cycle Configuration at the bottom. And then you'll confirm that transaction in your browser wallet. If we refresh our project page, we can see that we reconfigured our project's funding cycle. You can also click on Upcoming under the Funding Cycle section to see the details of our newly configured cycle, including all the details of when it starts and ends and more. And that's it. You successfully reconfigured your project. If you have any questions or need help along the way, drop into the support channel in Juicebox Discord at discord.gg juicebox. Thank you.